Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I would go a step further with our Easter egg covers. Um, Amanda Downing very kindly gave me um, permission to do the tutorial on her design for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, egg cover. And I thought, well, it would be really cute to be able to make a bunny one. So here is my little bunny egg cover. And... Um, you're going to need, I think this is about a three inch in, uh, yeah, about a three inch egg. It's a large plastic egg that we're going to use for the inside to put the treats in. And we're going to make this cute little bunny. So the colours that you're going to need, pink, and I've used pink for the nose, the inside of the ear, and also for the mouth. You could use little black bands here instead of pink if you wanted to, that's up to you. I am using googly eyes. Now these googly eyes, I think we worked out the ones for the turtles were 15, oops, come here, 15 millimeter. Let's have a look and see if these are the same. These are a five, six, these are about a seven millimeter, um, a little bit smaller. I'm, I have a, a bag, a mixed bag of different sizes. So I'm literally just grabbing the ones that I think would be right for it. And probably I think also the eyes need to be a little closer. Um, if I was doing this one again, I would probably make the eyes a little closer than this one. This is a very wide eyed bunny, but there you go. So let's get started. We're going to use um, our hook to make this. Um, it is an amigurumi style um, design. However, to show you how to do the magic ring, I do like to use my loom with a single peg. If you're comfortable doing your magic ring on your hook, that is absolutely fine. That's completely up to you. But as I said, I prefer to show you by using my loom. So we're going to do a magic ring with four bands in it. So start by taking a single band and wrapping it once and twice on that peg. And we're using white, okay? We're going to poke our hook through that band that we've just wrapped around and taking our first band, we'll draw it through. Now, most of you that are doing this will be familiar with amigurumi or lumigurumi as we like to call it. If you're not, please click on the little eye that is on the top right hand side of this video and it will give you the link to my beginner's guide to Lumigurumi video. I strongly recommend that you watch that video first. Um, it is in my playlist for tips and tricks and it will make things seem a lot clearer to you as far as terminology, the fact that we're going to be talking about decreases, increases, single crochets um, and the like. So if you're not familiar, please have a look at that. It would be very worthwhile. We've made our little magic ring. You've got four loops here. One, two, three. Number four is on our hook. We're going to push our hook through that first stitch and we're going to increase. So we're going to make it go from four to eight all the way around. And to do that, we put two stitches in each of these four stitches. So our first one, you pull your band through and you're going to take one over the other and then join it to that stitch number four that was still on your hook. And then you're going to go back through that first stitch again and do your second single crochet. And that is called an increase. Now, we really should be putting our stitch marker on our first one so we know where we start and where we finish. Go to the second stitch, which is here. We're going to do two in this. So you, you will end up at the end of this round, these are called rounds, with eight stitches. This is stitch number three. And this is st stitch number four, your last stitch. We'll do two in here as well. One and oops, come back here. Two. So we're back to the beginning here. Push your hook through that starting stitch, that first stitch, and we'll pull through our band and do a single crochet. This is our first stitch of the next round. So move your stitch marker. 
Okay, so we now have eight stitches. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this was number one that is on our hook. We're going to do our next round of a single crochet, which we've just done, followed by an increase. So stitch number two here, we're doing an increase, and then we'll follow it with a, with a single crochet, and then we'll follow it with an increase. And you're going to do this eight times, because you have eight stitches. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's do two stitches here. One and two, followed by a single single crochet in here, followed by an increase in here, a single crochet in the next, an increase, A single crochet and finish with an increase. You will now have 12 stitches in your round. So count this is the first one with a stitch marker 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and number 12 is on your hook. Our next round is going to be two single crochets followed by an increase. So this is number one. Let's go through for number two. And now we do an increase. And then we'll do one. Two and an increase And our last stitch here will be an increase. So let's check how many stitches we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 is on our hook where it should be. All right, our next round is going to be three single crochets followed by an increase and that will give us a total of 20 stitches so first go through your first stitch so this is our first single crochet move your stitch marker two three and now we do our increase I had somebody telling me um, leaving a message saying my counting was annoying um, this is about counting stitches and, and stuff, so it's kind of part of this whole process. <laughs> so here's my increase. And when I don't count stitches, you all get annoyed with me. So I can't, I can't win for losing. This round, as I said, is three single crochets followed by an increase. You can pull them apart to see. You've got four little stitches in that one, four little loops. You've got two little loops, two little loops, two little loops. So you know the two little loops are singles and the four little loops is an increase. 
that's if you have stopped counting that's how you can remember where you are This is our last stitch for this round, which is an increase, and you should have 20, whoopsie, come back here, 20 stitches, count them if you want, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 is on our hook. Now, this next round is... If you have a look here, this next round is where we're going to start about thinking. Um, we're building down. We're just doing single crochets, okay? So we're going to, and we have, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to put nine bands here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These nine bands are going to represent each round. Okay, that I'm that I'm doing, and every time I start around, I'm going to take one from here. All right, and then my other little pile here will be where I'm taking them, you know, where I actually do my round. But this is going to count how many rounds I'm on. So I'm going to push my hook through that first stitch, and take one from here. So after this round, I know I have eight rounds left, and we're just going to do single crochet all the way around. as you know you have 20 stitches from your previous round so that should not increase or decrease because we're just doing single crochets so if you suddenly find that you have more than 20 you know that you've added and if you've got less you know you've dropped a stitch Now I'm going to do one more round with you because that's where we're going to add, I might do two actually, um, we're adding the eyes on the next round. Make sure, now see how I've done a 2 in that stitch, so that would have been wrong. And that would have increased my size to 21, so take that out and make sure I go in that next stitch. Very important. Not really, it wouldn't have mattered if his little head was a little bit bigger. But if you do it too many times, then yes. I think my patterns are pretty forgiving. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take one from this side again. I'm on my next round and this round is where we're putting our eyes and I'm going to move my stitch marker now as you know we have 20 stitches around here so if we go on the ninth stitch and the 11th stitch to add our eyes that should be good we've just done number one so let's count two come back here two Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, number nine is going to be my eye. Now, I have already threaded my eye, my googly eye. This is a plain googly eye. It's not adhesive. It doesn't have the sew on bit to it. You just get El Cheapo um, little googly eyes, okay? Um, now, I have a video on how you can convert one of those little, little cheapy um, googly eyes 
so that you can thread your band through and all you need to do is scour two little lines down the back with a sharp knife but as I said there's a tips and tricks video on how to do that again if you look at the little eye for information which is on the top right hand side of this video I will have linked to that eye video to make things easier for you okay so once you have your eyes with a band through them for number nine push your hook through grab the white band that's on your googly eye and pull it through that ninth stitch just like you're doing a normal crochet all right and join and then go to 10 this is our 10th stitch and then in 11 we're doing the other eye so again put your other eye through and do your single crochet alright and then we just keep going now you can do these after the fact if you want to adjust the placement and stuff um, and basically I've, I think I've shown you in other videos how you can add a googly eye you basically put one side of each loop between um, a band and you tie a tie off band at the back joining them those two loops together so that works too okay so I'm nearly back to the beginning here let's flip this over there we go that was my last stitch here's my beginning I put the and the uh, stitch marker on the wrong side. I'm going to take one from this side now, pull through, do my single crochet and move my stitch marker to that band. Okay so as you're going through you're going to make sure that you catch each of these stitches. Alright, you have another well the round that you're just going to do so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another seven rounds to do and then we will catch up together again. So pause your video and let's do another seven rounds and then we'll catch up again. So now we've come to the end of that round, we're just going to tie it off. All right, so just put your hook through the next stitch, grab a single band, pull it through that stitch and add the one that's on your loop, on your hook rather, reclaim and tie off in a slip knot and make it nice and tight, okay? And you can take your stitch marker out of that. So this is his, uh, his, her little um, top half of the egg, and you can check that it is the right size just by fitting it. Looks like a little ghost, doesn't it? But there we go. And it, you want it to make it so that it is, you know, um, halfway down your egg, like that. All right. So now let's do some ears. We're going to take, we're going to do this on the hook, it's all on the hook, single band, wrap once and twice. Now we're going to take three bands, okay, three bands, place them on the end of your hook and slide that little end cap over and reclaim, okay. Now you're going to do that seven times with three bands, not double banding, we're triple banding. So here's two. three, four, oops, I haven't got all of them there, let's make sure I've got all of them, five, six, and seven. Now you are going to make two of these, I've already made one, okay, so seven. Now you're going to take a pair, just two, slide it through, reclaim one over the other in a slip knot. Don't make that slip knot tight. What we're going to do now is work all the way around the edge, the outer edge, with a single crochet. And if you have a look, each little side here has got three, three loops. You've got one, two, three. And then the other side one two three you're going to try and get the outer loop on one side 
and the outer loop on the other side. It doesn't matter as long as you just get one loop from either side. When I say either side, I'm talking about just this side here. So one side, two side, not this other side on the underneath side. So single band, pull it through, do a single crochet. Now you're going to find another two bands. You get one from this side, one from the left side, one from the right side and again pull through with a single crochet do that again grab the first band grab a second band pull through and we're just going to work our way until we get to the top One from that side and one from that side. As I said it doesn't have to be the outer, it doesn't have to be the outer one, it can be whichever, as long as it's one from that side, one from that side. Now, when you get to this last one, you have this end cap here as well. So we're going to do two stitches this side of the end cap and two stitches this side of the end cap. So let's go through, let's find two little bands, one and two, and we'll do our first single crochet, and then go back through and do a second, and then you're going to sort of push that end cap around so that it's in the middle, and go this side and grab one and two, and we'll do our first single crochet here and then go back through for a second. Now we'll do the same all the way down, grabbing one side, one band, one loop from one side, one loop from the other, and single crochet our way down. And then we're in this bottom one here. Like so. Now, this is going to be our end stitch on this side. On the other side from where we have the loop, you're going to just go through that last bottom stitch here with a single band, pull it through, and do a slip knot. These two we're going to just keep on our little stitch marker, C-clip, S-clip, whatever you have, just keep those on like that. Now what we're going to do, if you have a look up here, this is our end cap up the top here, okay, you're going to push your hook through it and we're going to use pink, pull a single pink through the end cap. Now it's not going to be through the other side, okay, you've just got it through here. Next you're going to put your hook on one side but not on the other and you're just going to, as you can see, you've got the little stitches here, the little chain. You're going to go through a single band that side and a single band the other side. Then reclaim your pink band and take another pink band and pull through. And you're going to do the same. Find one little loop this side, one little loop this side, reclaim your pink and pull another one through and we're going to do this till we get to the bottom and then the very last one we're going to do is pulling through a white one this side if I don't stab my finger now whoops I've got two I only want one one that side reclaim my pink band
one this side. Make sure I've got one this side. There we go. Reclaim my pink. Now I'm going to go through one this side. If I can get my hook to work. <laughs> one this side. One this side. Reclaim the pink. And instead of using a pink band to go through, I'm going to use a white band, pull it through like that. Now I can have it just like this but I think it looks tidier if I let go just push my hook through the middle here of the bottom, grab one side of the white band and pull it through, do the same on the other side and then it sort of hides a little bit of the white band. You've got these two loops sticking out now from the bottom Okay, you're going to take your stitch marker out and include those two little loops that we just made into that. So you have four little loops on that and that is what we're going to anchor our ear with. So do another one. We need two, one for each side and we're going to place those now. You're going to squidge your little head in half like this. There's your magic ring at the top and you're going to skip if you see either side here, you've got one hole here, one hole here. You're going to skip that. You're going to skip that first round. And your ears are going to go from like here to here. And you can use a little pink band to mark it if you want. So you can pull one through from here to here. And then you want it the same on the other side. So we're at this level, say so here to here. Okay, and we'll pull that through. So that can be where our ears are going to go. So to place the ears, you're going to have obviously the pink side facing the eyes, and you need to put your hook through and grab the first two white loops from your ear and pull through. You want to keep those on your hook you want both of those loops on your hook, okay? Don't slip knot them. Then push your hook back through where the pink band is that's marking. And I can see that I've... Nope, I'm doing good. <laughs> push your hook back through. You can take that marker out now if you like. And you're going to grab the other two little white loops that are on the ear. Take your stitch marker off. Pull that through. You should have four little white loops on here. Take a single white band, draw it through all four loops and tie a slip knot. And then if you have a look, there's your ear. And because it's a thick, you've made it thicker with three bands, you can sort of bend it over a little bit as well. So let's do the other side. Push your hook through one side, grab two bands and pull through. Now you, again, you don't want to make it slip knot on itself. You want both loops. You don't want one loop over the other. Let's find the other side. Where's the other side going to be? I think my marker has come out, which is not terribly handy, but I think I've gone through the right spot here anyway. Put my hook through and I will pull those other two bands out. I'm going to take that marker band out because it didn't really do much of a good job at all. There's my two little loops this side, two little loops this side, single band, pull through, tie off in a slip knot, and there we have our ears. We're going to want a little nose. To do the little nose, you're going to take three or four bands. I'm going to use four. Wrap once and twice. Slide onto two white bands. And I try and lift and slide over because otherwise I find they sort of um, really get terribly tangled on themselves. Try and pretty them, pretty them up a little bit. And you've got two little loops either side here position where you want your nose okay and you're going to go in between the eyes and pull the two
two loops through one side and then approximate on the other side pull the other two loops through again you've got four little loops on your hook take a single white band pull through and tie off in a slip knot now this is where you can add this little bit here you can leave it like that that's perfectly fine or if you go through the center and you're going to sort of lift the nose up a bit to go underneath it a little bit here so that it looks like it's all joined in okay and you don't want to come out here because then it's it's not going to be joined into the nose so you sort of want to push through the bands in between the nose like this so that it's at the center which is proving to be a bit tricky for me <laughs> I've got one band that doesn't want to move I want to go in between those two right there okay now you can use black you can use pink um, brown really it, it doesn't matter and you pull one band through and approximate where you want it to be you might want it down here and take a single white and tie. and don't do them too tight because you might um, want to move it and then going through the same spot the second one pull through the other side is there Fumble fingers strikes again. Tie off. See, I've done that wrong. I've done that too short. It needs to be probably down a bit, actually. So let's move that one. So let's get this right. Yeah, that's better to that one there. So I need to get here, that loop, and that loop. Get my white band, tie them together. That looks better. Now, if you don't want to do um, a mouth like this, you don't have to. You can do little whiskers, whatever really suits you. That's how I've done it, like that. But again, as I said, you can just do whiskers coming out here instead of a little mouth. Up to you how you want to do that. Um, okay, so we can put this to one side. We've done the top half now, all right? And we're going to work on the bottom half. I'm gonna take that little mouth out. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So for the bottom half we're going to do a magic ring. It's going to have six. It's going to be white. All of this is going to be white. One and two. Find six white bands. Push your hook through and we do our little magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Get rid of your loom, budge these around, and let's go through our first stitch here. Taking a single band, 
do a single crochet get your stitch marker and pop that on we're going to do two stitches in each of these to do our increases so let's do another stitch another single crochet in that first stitch and then two in the second stitch two in the third stitch two in the fourth in the fifth and two in the sixth I'm going to move your, your hook through the first stitch grab a single band a single crochet and move your stitch marker that is our first stitch of our next round for this round we're going to do single crochet and an increase and that will be the pattern so we've done a single crochet so we're now doing an increase single crochet and an increase single crochet and an increase single crochet and an increase single crochet increase single crochet and we finish on an increase we want to count your stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 is on our hook push your hook through your first stitch do a single crochet and move your stitch marker we're now going to do three single crochets followed by an increase so that was number one next stitch two the next stitch three and the, this stitch is an increase And then the next stitch you have one, two, three, and increase. and an increase and then your last two stitches are just single crochet one and two back through the first stitch single crochet and move your stitch marker Now, we need to do 
seven rounds of single crochet. So I'm going to put my little stitches here, three, four, five, six, seven. Each time I do a round, I'm going to take one of these so I know exactly what round I'm on, okay? And I will meet you back here when we both have seven rounds added to this. So I've just done the last stitch of my round. I'm going to go through the next stitch and I'm going to tie off by going through that stitch of the band and through the loop, reclaim and tie off in a slip knot, nice and tight. It shouldn't be too tight actually. Here I am saying nice and tight but we need to open it again later so let's make it a little less tight. Now we need to basically stitch these together in our egg. So grab your egg and you're going to make sure that the front of the nose is at the front of your egg. So grab your egg, like so, and of course you can wiggle it around, that's, that's not a problem. You want your tie-off bands whoops, come here you, to be poking out, alright, so I've got the top part on, like so. Let's marry up where our tie-off bands are, so that we can link those together as we go around. So. What I'm going to do, this tie-off band is about where I want to start with my looping. I'm going to just undo one, and I want to be careful because I don't want to have it flick open and lose everything else. So I've gone through one here, I'm going to grab the other one on the other side. So I'm just going to undo it and add them to my hook. One and two, make sure that I have them on my egg properly. Okay, so this is how they're going to be. I'm going to just take a single band and go through all four of those loops. I'm actually going backwards here, so I'm going to turn my hook around and go this way. All right, so I've got a single band that's gone through all, all of those loops. I'm now going to grab two on this side and two on this side and put my loop like that. Grab a band, go through, get the next two on either side, and I'm just linking, I hope you can see, everything together like this. Try and keep our bunny together. <laughs> Single band, pull through. Grab the next pair of either side. And we're going to go to about here, all right. grabbing two loops either side to stitch this around check with the other side where you started so it's about in line with the ear so I've got probably maybe one more to go to be in line with this ear and now I'm going to just go through a single band and I need to tie off in a slip knot nice and tight and then push my hook through grab the tie off band and pull back and hide that through there so this is how we have done let me pull, pull back so you can see this is how I've done my little rabbit and as I said you can adjust his ears, one up, one down, you can bend both down, pop it open, put your little treat in and seal the little egg back up again. I think I've actually want the tie-off band to get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. My tie-off band has come loose, so what I need to do, let me see if I can weave it so that every time you open the lid it's not going to get in the way. You want to kind of weave it through a few of these bands so it's hidden 
there we go and there is our little Easter Bunny egg cover I really hope you enjoy making them as I said you can do them with the little mousy bit here or you can just do the nose completely up to you take care happy Easter bye